In stressful economic times, citizens in Michigan can always find comfort by looking back at the resiliency of the state. Our history of self-sufficiency and determination is a rock-solid foundation that we can all stand firmly on to gather strength and our second breath. And what better way to do that than by visiting an upcoming county fair? Here you'll rediscover the rural roots of the Great Lakes State that has spawned an agribusiness that has fed nations and continues to do so. When you visit a Michigan County Fair, you'll feel a pride well up in your chest that'll push that stress right out of your body. The family farm and agribusiness in the state still has a firm toehold on the rural landscape. Hard work and family values are everywhere when you pass through the gates of the County Fair. When you visit any County Fair this coming season, be sure and step off the Carnival Midway Path and into the exhibit barns and arenas. A while back, Michigan Magazine did just that at one of our own local county fairs, the Ogemaw County Fair, just a bit northeast of I-75 in northeastern Lower Michigan. In this edition of Michigan Magazine, we bring you highlights of an event not too many urbanites or regular fairgoers get the chance to experience. Ogemaw County, back in about 2006 or so, brought to the arena sheep shearing competition and exhibition. And since its inception, kids and adults alike Farmer and non-farmer have discovered a new appreciation of wool and wool products, plus a lot of fun competition. 2008 was our first encounter with the event ourselves, where we discovered a loyal and growing following in the world of sheep shearing competition. Okay, Jim, what do we got here? This is uh, some shearing competition. Tell us a little bit about what's involved here. Well, this is the second annual uh, Ogemaw Heights FFA sheep shearing contest here at the Ogemaw County Fair. Uh, we did it last year. We had. Uh, 18 shears from uh, five states and this year uh, because of a couple of weddings that are happening out in Iowa and Wisconsin we've got 12 shears uh, but we we have more planned for next year too so okay now what, what's involved in the competition is it a time competition is it a quality competition what it's kind? both, both? Okay. Uh, uh, it works out to about 20 percent is on time 80 percent is on your quality of work okay how much so, time do they have to do this or is it just well it, all the time they need okay but the uh, the guys that win are going to do a better job quicker. I see, so, I see. Uh, we've got seven different judges looking for different, well, five of them are looking for one thing and two are looking for something else. Okay. So we have two judges out back, five up on the stage, okay. looking and, over each shearer's work. And what area does this draw from now? Uh, all over the United in States. The okay. yep. There's guys that couldn't make it, and there's even a Canadian that called the other night and said he couldn't make it at the last minute. So. Okay, well, we, and we know that you're really busy right now, so we'll just keep an eye on what's happening here, and good luck. Okay, Thank thanks. You. Judges, are you ready? Timers, are you guys ready? Okay. 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 Yeah, there's a wall all over the, the board. That's not good. That's going to cost some points. The 
this contest, the goal score wins. You don't want numbers clicked on that clicker. Out in the back, after these sheep are shorn, the judges are going to be looking to see how smooth they are, if there's ridges on them, if there's any nicks or cuts. All right, Justin's first one done with that. He's got to move his place forward. You can sure on. Looks like Nick now, is he? Yep, Nick is kicking Nick. Now, the shooter's responsibility is to move that place forward. Get it out of the way. And the whole handler has to wait for them to do that. And then they move that place. On these lambs, the hole is kind of short, so it's really just being used for a felting process. So even though we separate the belly hole, we're probably going to add it back in for tonight. Spot four is Justin Wilson. He won this contest last year. Looks like he wants to win it again. He uh, went cheering with us in the UB one day and he said he wanted a new record. He cheered 150 headed. Uh, before you were ready to land in one day. He was pretty proud of that. Pete Kaiser and I each had 144. Nick Weaver in slot two. Up the great champion chair for the junior division in the United States. So he's an reigning national junior champion for the entire United States. In the first spot is Luke Kaiser from Whitmore. He's had a little more trouble with that land that wants to, to kick and jump around. And he just about let it up the shoot. Did a nice clean job on that sheet, but we'll be more in it, but he's well on his way to being a, a top notch shooter. Luke also had shoulder surgery a few weeks ago, but he said he'd be here anyway. He thought he might be sore whether he's here or not, so he might as well share it. Position two and position three is the last time of the heat. Time is not everything in a sheet cheering contest. You can win on time, but you can lose on quality. Time is about 20% of the scoring. 80% is on your quality of work. In a contest out of Montana in May, the solo sheer in the final round won the competition of about 30 years. Yeah, professional rounds. We're gonna have at least two national past national champions here tonight. That'll be coming up in the next round. So there you go. That's just a sampling of the sheep shearing competition at the 2008 Ogemaw County Fair. On a future edition of Michigan Magazine, we'll bring you more of the competitors of a more seasoned and world-renowned category who also competed that day. Events like this are becoming more and more popular at county fairs, but some individuals, perhaps like you and I, never get past the coney dogs, cotton candy, elephant ears, and carnival rides to discover the true roots of the county fair where the heritage of hard work and pride and good, clean fun and competition bring out the best in our Michiganders. So in these trying economic times, get back to the basics of family fun at your county fair. <laughs>